to focus this video on study visa guys like it's so important for that first off there's a list of documents one is meant to provide um at the time of this video i had been to the embassy the german embassy twice yeah i was unprepared and i'm trying to make this video because i don't want you to be unprepared and get insulted like i was so yeah um with the german study visa whenever you might decide to go to germany germany is a very amazing place by the way you should get but we'll get into the see just oh, oh. so one thing i would advise anybody is ensure you have all your documents ready like they should be ready they should be um in copies you know so what they would always advise um, there's a list of documents right i think about you know, depending on it of on your own situation but there are a list of documents so for study visa they would want you to come with the original not just study visa i'm sure other visas but they want you to come with the original and copies of their like of those documents photocopies so usually they would when you get to the embassy i will tell you that you should carry the embassy would ask you on the checklist to come with at least two copies of each of the documents so you just need your original and then two extra copies so original birth certificate two extra copies original um what should i document it? original uh secondary school certificate two copies primary school certificate two copies university bachelor's degree two copies with it so these documents are part of the checklist for study visa and this is how it goes on the day or this is how it went on my day the first time i went to the embassy no i'll talk about the second time because it was a lot more friendly i'll make a video about my first experience at the german embassy but that'll be another video when you get to the embassy ensure you go um, enough time ahead of your appointment people get different appointments some people get for 7 a.m some get for 10 um my second um, time of going to the embassy i got my interview date for 10 a.m so i was there um by seven something because this time my sister was like you have to be there on time because part of the reason why i flopped the first one was because i wasn't there on time and yeah i flopped so um you get to the embassy you have to go straight to the to the security person so that he can stamp the time you came in and also um check for your confirmation if you were if it's correct i know so you're going to give him your visa appointment confirmation um email imprinted so this is also something that many people don't really talk about because you're actually meant to go to the german embassy with your printed invitation confirmation you print it out of your email directly showing that the german embassy's um email address that i will put on the screen sends you that email to come for an interview on that particular day so you come with that printed document and then you take your passport with you you present it to the security person he will stamp it and then you go join the line depending for student visas students stayed on a separate line from those going looking for schengen visas so the visa that students are actually looking um, meant to the document they're meant to print out a national visa form because they are going to be staying in germany for more than 90 days so you shall join the line so when you join the line um the man at the gates that people many people talk about his name is mr paulinus yes you must have heard about him if you've not heard about him before Many people have so many experiences with him, but on this day, Mr. Paulinus smiled at me. And um, I was so intentional about this particular um, 
this particular interview date because I didn't, I couldn't do it alone. Like I had to, I prayed, I went with the Holy Spirit. Like I knew my environment was stirred up spiritually because what I saw, what my eyes saw in the first interview wasn't exactly the best for me. So I knew that at that time, I had to change my approach because it's not by my doing that I even got a date. So I had to go with the person who gave me that date and it could only be the Holy Spirit. So I got to the place, I waited on the line quietly. And one thing about knowing and having all your documents intact, there are some men at the German embassy who would prey on your unpreparedness. If you come, if you don't come with your prepared career um, do, um, envelope, some will collect money from you. Eh? Most of them will collect money that is double the price, sometimes five times the price of act, the actual amount of the career prepared envelope. And I say this because I was a victim. But that's going to come in our in our gist. We're coming there. So um, go with your prepaid envelope. One from Red Star Express, DHL, any career service. Mostly use either of these two. I no noticed that many people are using either of these two. Just so that your documents could be sent accurately back to you in whatever state in Nigeria that you're coming from. So, like I said, these men will pray on your preparedness. To print one document at the embassy, some of them will collect a thousand naira, sometimes 2,000 naira per page, depending on your printing. Photocopy, same price. They are brutal. So I tell you, you don't want to go, th you don't want that smoke <laughs> because my chest. Anyway, that's just for another day. <laughs> no more. Anyway, um, yeah. So you go with your documents, ensure all your copies are in twos or more. Yes, or more. Nobody's going to pen, um, penalize you for coming with more than two copies. Go with your documents. And I would also advise that you arrange your documents according to the checklist. Now, the checklist has, like, is one, two, three, like, in bullet points. So you arrange your documents in that order. In fact, Mr. Paulinus will tell you your original and the copies under your original and your copies under so if you have the first document on the list is actually your passport for um, a photocopy of your passport in two copies your national visa application form two copies your declaration form two copies is even the, <laughs> then i think it comes with your birth certificate then your secondary school your primary school um certificate your secondary school your bachelor's your birth certificate stuff like that so original copies on that original copies on that please as in you don't want to be embarrassed or you don't want your time or you don't want your um opportunity to pass you by because once you miss it sometimes depending on how the man is feeling eh he could send you back to the like to the end of the line and you may have been the first person on the line he doesn't care yeah i really hope that this video was really helpful obviously i'll give gist you know about my first experience yeah i'll be excited to do that but thank you so much for watching this video i'd also want you to know that germany is a really good place to study i know that many people are looking at the uk the us and canada but do not neglect european countries those guys are doing the lord's work and i just really think that people should look out for european countries too so thank you guys so much for watching my video and bye.